Hi everyone, this is Ryan Casada, and I wanted to make this video because something's been weighing on my mind. I'm not even going to wait till Friday to post this video. Uh, before I start, I just want to give a shout out to Kion Fetterman and Christina. Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube videos and for kickstarting my album. Um, anyways, uh, I was just in a BuzzFeed video, which is really cool, and I want to thank BuzzFeed for allowing me to be in an article and a video because not everyone gets that opportunity and I'm extremely lucky and grateful for it. Um, so a while ago I went into BuzzFeed Studios in Los Angeles and I got to make this video with my friend Steph and we made a video about things that only trans guys understand and it's not, first of all, it's not a video that all trans guys understand. It's Basically, some trans guys understand these things, which a lot of people understand the things that are in the video. But obviously not all trans people are the same, so it's important to say that. Obviously there wasn't enough time in the video to say that, and you can't always say these things, to be honest. Um, but there's something in the video that a lot of people have been talking about, and I think it's time to come forward and say something about it. Um, the video showed me binding with ace bandage. This is ace bandage. Um, so I bind it in the video with ace bandage and um, it got a lot of negative feedback because why? Because ace bandage is extremely 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 dangerous to bind with. You could break your ribs, you could suffocate, it's very dangerous. Um, and I binded with ace bandage for a long time, and luckily I never had any consequences. Um, for me, it was the only way to bind for a really long time, and it was either this or I was going to commit suicide, so I had to use this. And for a lot of trans guys, it's what they use because they cannot access anything else. So it is relatable to a lot of people. Um, however, it's not a safe way to bind. I cannot say that enough. It's not a safe way to bind, and I do not recommend it at all. Um, we showed it in the video as a way to, to relate and as a way to just put on a show. It was for theater. The video isn't real life. The video was for theater, for comedy, for a show. Um, but there should have been a little caption that says, do not do this at home like they do in, in movies and stuff like do not try this at home because it's like a jackass stunt basically like binding with this is a jackass stunt and if you're doing it you're risking your life um so I'm sorry that we put it in the video I wish that we had a binder on set we didn't if we did we would have used a binder um we only had a day to make the video we didn't have time to get something shipped to us or to find a binder, and I didn't have mine with me, it was six hours away, um, so we used this, this, this was my ace bandage, um, this was not the one that we used in the video, though, that was from the props department, um, but I just wanted to show what it looks like in case people don't know, because this is extremely dangerous to bind with, extremely dangerous to bind with, and people should know that. Um, alright, that's really all that I want to say. I just want to put this out there as soon as possible so that people know that it's not safe. I would have made this video earlier, but I've had the flu and I'm finally starting to recover a little bit. But yeah, thank you for watching and please spread the word. Thank you.